911, what is your emergency? Uh, uh, please, uh, my son, uh, uh, call me now. That there, there is shooting in okay. Where, High School. There are images that stop parents in their tracks. Imagine what they do to kids. That's a huge worry for a lot of kids when, when those incidents occur. Mass shootings, and even more specifically, school shootings, have become way too common. Common enough that they're becoming a real issue for students. It's on their minds. The worry, it's, it comes from a sense of, you know, everyone feels vulnerable. Like, hey, listen, I enjoy my school. I move freely through my school. How can this happen? You know, who are these people? Um, you know, as a family member, I think you, you ensure your child. Your school has always been safe. We don't want you to, to live in fear. Communicate to, to people if you do feel um, unsafe for whatever reasons. We have opened up some discussion in the classrooms to students and so they can express their concerns and their worries and their, their thoughts about, you know, um, why these things are happening. And, um, and we talk about safety precautions, you know, building wide, hey, this is what we do. Um, so the students can feel empowered. <laughs> The Kirkwood School District has added intruder drills four times a year in all schools. Taylor says talking about these and other precautions with your kids are a good way to reassure them. We have student resource officers are in all of our buildings. We have an, a system here in our school systems where you know doors are locked. Um, you have a number of staff members who are you know kind of alert and, and watching for, for situations you know in buildings and outside of buildings. But you want to assure your child that hey listen it is okay to go to school um, because your school and your district has put these things in place. Now the big question will be uh, is there in fact that second shooter and where is that second shooter? There but what about the images, the TV coverage? Taylor says by middle school and high school it's becoming time to let them watch at least a little. As they get older, though, kids wonder and kids have a better understanding. And so I think helping them understand the severity of kind of the tragedies that are occur, it's absolutely OK. It's absolutely OK to, to let that happen um, and to watch those stories. Um, now, we don't want to indulge in them. Um, sometimes as adults, we, we will do so because we want to know kind of the end and kind of where things are going. But for kids, it's OK to watch the stories um, and, and have conversations around them and, and talk about um, safety. As parents, we often want to say, it'll be okay, that won't happen here. But as these sort of problems proliferate, that may be a promise some parents aren't comfortable making because they can't control keeping it. Taylor's suggestion, just be as honest as you think you can. I've always found um, value in being transparent with kids, and I know there's things that we can't share as adults, um, and even as a school, um, but I think the transparency helps, it helps kids feel like, okay, they have some semblance of an understanding of what's going on. Because, you know, the uncertainty is what exacerbates the anxiety.